wholeness in my life on a daily basis. When I get up in the morning, what is the first thing I do? I look at myself. Well, according to the Bible, the Bible says, look, put you first. That's right. That's what he said. So we got to remember, it, it, it's a reason why he's telling us to do that. He has the foresight for us. And he knows and he understands if we put him first, first, he's going to show us and give us insight, give us direction, come speak to us. But first, the first step to holiness. Be transformed by the renewing of your life. This is a daily thing, Elizabeth. A daily thing. And we have to take this thing very, 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 very seriously. Because guess what? Demons are out there. Witches are out there. Warlords are out there. And they're doing their job, guys. We have to do our job. We can't just be coming in church all the time. The brother trying to, you know, come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Y'all supposed to already come in here. Because it starts at home first. And I'm not getting on there right now. I'm talking about me too. This is a daily thing. The past, you should make things are already in place. The past, the atmosphere, I, I love that atmosphere. I'm just telling y'all straight up. The atmosphere here is on check. Amen. This is the first church in the whole time that I felt this kind of atmosphere. Woo! Let's get real. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. I'm not trying to kiss no butt. I ain't trying to, you know, I'm, I'm being real. And that's sad. Because I've been here since 2014. And I've seen unordered in a lot of churches. I've seen unbalanced. And that's what holiness is. Holiness is the balance to our life. Come on now. And you know that holiness is in your life if you have the balance. When you're unbalanced, you got to check yourself. That's right. Examine yourself. That don't mean that you're not holy. That is a part of holiness. Examine yourself. Count up the cost. That's a part of holiness. It, check, it keeps us in check and in line. And what we're supposed to do. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I just, I just got three scriptures. I got three scriptures. Yes. Now let's let's talk about why we need to be holy. Wow. Let's go to Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. When you get there, just say amen. Y'all remember say that back in the day? Y'all get there, say amen. amen. <laughs> it says. Therefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great, yes. uh -huh. so not 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 less uh, uh, we so great a cloud of what? Witnesses. They're looking, guys. Ah, you think really? they're not looking? You teach it. Man. They're not coming to the churches no more. You better tell it. The community is in chaos right now. Trump doing this, Trump doing that. Oh my God, what's going on? They ain't coming to the church. I bet you that. You teach it. Pastors are scaring them away. The saints are scaring them away. I asked God, I said, God, you know, how in the world are the, the people of, of darkness are going to just hate us and they want to kill us to the point of, of, of you know, just murdering us? And I found out why. We some. We some evil for some time. Come on, yes, say it. I mean, say seriously. Say it. You talking about we supposed to be godly people? Come on, come on. But we can't even treat each other right. Come on, come on. I'm serious. And it starts in the church. That's right. That's right. How many of y'all know each other? Really? Come on, come on. Like, really know each other? According to the Bible, it said, know those that labor. Come on, come on. That's up, guys. That's part of holiness. Yes. Yeah. I got to know my brother and sister. Yes. You know, we got all these churches, y'all. Mm -hmm. all, right. all these churches. Do we know any, anybody? Do we know each other? Y'all don't see that as a problem? Yeah. Now, we're praying to go to one heaven, right? That's it. We're praying, we're praying to fight against the enemy, right? Uh -huh. I wonder how God going to um, um, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Who, who, yeah. Who, who, yeah. We from, I mean, really. We got a Caucasian church. We got a Muslim church. Mm -hmm. We got Indian church. We got. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, guys. I'm just saying we got to look at how the great cloud of witnesses are looking. Because mm -hmm. we're trying to draw them, right? Right. That's what we're trying to draw. Uh -huh. 
Let us lay aside every weight. I'm sure. I can't. I can't. I can't. Sure. I'm only you. I can't lay aside nothing. I still got to have this. Let us lay aside every weight. And. from praising God. Mm -hmm. Stop you from yes. changing your mindset. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be sin to stop you. Yes. Sometimes it be a little thing, your morals, your principles, mm -hmm. what you believe, mm -hmm. what you understand. Mm -hmm. It's a part of holding this, y'all. That balance. Mm -hmm. Let us lay aside every way and the sin which do so easily Easy. beset us. Yes. And let us run some of us just walk. Let us run with patience. What does that mean? Running with patience. How can, God, how can we run and be patient at the same time? Because some of us run and say, you know what, I'm just giving up. No, be patient. Keep going. Keep praying for that thing. Keep believing God. Keep seeking Him. Keep putting on your whole arm. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Keep studying to show thyself approval to God. Keep doing it until you see the situation in your life change. Because some of us, we have to do that. It's for us. See, when we go through a life, it ain't just for you. It's for somebody else sometimes. See, the way God works, he does stuff so, oh man, it's just awesome. He, he teach you, he use the, 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 the stuff that you think is just crazy. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, wow, that wasn't really for mm -hmm. me. That was for one person. Okay. Mm -hmm. But see, if you had a balance of holiness in your life, yeah. you would understand that. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be conscious enough mm -hmm. to recognize that. Mm -hmm. You know? That's all. And it starts right here, ladies and gentlemen. See, this right here is just our stumping ground. Right? We're supposed to take the things that we get from here mm -hmm. and apply it right out there. And even the more, y'all, I mean, this thing is serious, y'all, because the devil is not playing. That's right, that's right. He is not playing, guys. Look what's happening. Yes, yes. Prayers out of school. Mm -hmm. Why we ain't fought for it to get back in the school? We don't have a balance. So. We got gay rights. Never against gay people. Jesus. I love them. They're some cool jokes. But their lifestyle is messed up a lot of stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we have to be able to stand for Christ and tell the truth. I Amen. Amen. Right. Right. I tell them, I said, look, bro, you cool. <laughs> but don't swing that way, bro, because I'm going to drop these keys and I'm going to knock you off, bro. <laughs> but I love you, though. I'm going to pray for you. But we just got to be real. Because, see, if you're going to put your stuff on me, I'm going to put my stuff on you. Yeah, right. That's right. You want to talk about that? Let me talk about Jesus. Ah, right. Amen. We don't know the law. We don't know the. We don't know anything about government, politics, none of that stuff. Why? Because they say what? Separation of church and state, and the people of God don't know nothing. That's not balance. How can we fight the devil if we don't even know his weapons? Okay. Come on now. He's using these weapons. He having the churches set up in, in different um, um, situations that's, that's, that's going to cause the breakdown of our churches. Because the people of God don't know. Yes. And then there's a scripture in the Bible. I don't know where it's in right now, but I read it last night. I forgot where it was. But it talks about how the saints, I mean the wicked, is wiser than the saints. Oh. What kind of mess is that? Yes. I couldn't believe that was in my Bible. In my Bible, I think it's in Ecclesiastes. He mm -hmm. said, God, he praised the sinner mm -hmm. because he was wise at what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And he said they were wiser than the saints mm -hmm. because the saints don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. They don't want to open their mind. They say they serve a God. Mm -hmm. We serve a God, y'all. Mm -hmm. But our mindset is small. We don't think outside the four walls. Mm -hmm. We're scared. Mm -hmm. We just put all the weight on the pastor. Well, the pastor, we don't talk to the pastor. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much the pastor?
has to go through, y'all? Yeah. Do you know how many demons the pastors face? Okay. And then they got to face y'all demons? Because y'all don't know that holiness is real? Y'all don't know how to apply holiness in your life? A situation come up and, and what you do? You tuck and hide. Oh, and you talk to pastor. Pastor need help too, y'all. Yeah. Amen. I'm serious, man. I heard a pastor quit a church. Mm -hmm. He was tired. Then he see me. I said, hey, pastor, how you doing? Oh, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, you already know. I know what happened. <laughs> Brother, I'm praying for you. Mm -hmm. But the pastor quit because he was tired. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't the world. It was the people. Just like it was with Jesus. It wasn't the world. All my life I'm thinking that the world killed, the, uh, killed Jesus. It was a dog on Sunday. Yes. yes. And I'm like, God, why? Yes. God, why is this true? Because they don't know holiness is real. They don't know how to apply holiness in their life on a day-to-day -day walk. That's sad, y'all. We are so far behind. God, we don't have the time for us not to understand what's going on. Amen. So remember, y'all, when you look back in your life, when you go throughout this week, ask yourself, am I applying holiness in my life? Because they're watching. It's a great cloud. It's a great cloud. It's not a small cloud. Cloud. It's a great cloud. They're looking. And if you can't show God, you will. Yeah, pretty much straight to the Come on, let's bless the Lord again, amen.